What's up y'all? It's Candace and today I'm going to talk to you about how to work on your wrists and what you can do to really help strengthen them and make them stronger and really more mobile so you can get more out of your workouts. We tend to neglect our wrists and there's something that we really need to have good strength with because we're not going to be able to hold our body weight up. We're not going to be able to pull things. We're not going to be able to push things if we don't have good wrist strength because it plays into things like grip strength as well. So what I'm going to go over today is some stretches that you can do and some simple things that you can do every day that's going to make a big difference. So simply start where you are if you have trouble or you can't connect in a way that I'm telling you to just keep working at it. You will get there. So the first thing that you want to do is we're going to get on all fours. And I want you to really think about spreading your fingers as wide as you can. And as you do this, your hands are directly under your shoulders, knees under your hips. And I want you to press, really press into the floor with each finger. And then also you're locking your wrist forward. So the front of, I mean, <laughs> in front of your elbows. So the front of your elbows should be facing forward. That's the ultimate goal and you keep them straight and locked. Normally we would say, do not lock anything out, but for this case, you're locking them. So press into the ground with each finger, locking those arms out, and you're probably gonna feel some tension right at your wrist, maybe in your forearms, and that's okay. Hold it for five to 10 seconds, and then relax. So you're gonna do that a couple times, and then once you feel like you can really kind of feel your fingers connecting with the ground, I want you to stay in that position, but I want you to try to raise one finger at a time without letting your arms move. Now you'll probably be able to move maybe your thumb, maybe your pointer finger, but it's probably going to be a challenge to move all of them without like overcompensating, without seeing that your elbows want to bend. So it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of focus, but the point here is that as we do this, as we keep practicing trying to move one finger at a time, you're going to get that much better mind-muscle connection, which is going to turn on more of the muscles in your hands that should be working, which we tend to not have working. So do that for a little while, and I promise you, because I, I can't even do this completely, my right hand is actually worse than my left. And a lot of times if you're dominant, you might see that, you might feel that one hand, that hand is actually weaker, not as connected because you use it so much, you may overcompensate in areas. So for example, this forearm is a lot tighter, my right forearm. So with that said, go over that, trying to raise one hand, one finger at a time on each hand. So start with your thumbs, work to your pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. And as you go, just focus on it, even if you can't feel them lifting. Just think about it. Get your mind connected. That's going to make the biggest difference. So you can relax your wrist for a little bit after that if you need to, or your hands. Then we're going to do the same thing. Get in the same position, locking those elbows forward, hands directly under those shoulders. Fingers are spread wide, and you're going to press into the ground and lean forward and you are probably going to feel a crap ton of tension unless you do this or are very good already with wrist health you're going to push your weight forward over your hands so shoulders are moving over the hands you're going to hold it for about 10 15 seconds max and then relax do that three to five times work your way up but you're probably going to feel a lot of tension in the top of your hand all the way up in your forearm especially if you're someone who tends to write a lot or be on their computer, you tend to have a lot of tension right there. So do that, like I said, three to five times holding it. And then you're going to do a similar thing, but flip your hands over, staying on all fours, and then try to lock those elbows forward again. And this time you're gonna probably feel a little bit of different stretch in the front of your arms or in your forearms, at least I do. And so your hands are upside down and this time you're going to sit back just a little bit, but keep composure, keep posture. You're just going to feel more of a deep, 
deeper static stretch this way. So it's lengthening those muscles, whereas before we were more turning them on to help strengthen. So you straight stretch and strengthen at the same time and then relax. Do the same thing three to five times for about 10 to 15 seconds and just keep repeating that. Now I know that may seem basic or simple, but I promise it makes a difference if you do it enough. And you will start to see, you can do it on an elevated surface too. So you could do it on a bench. Um, you just wanna always make sure that your hands are directly under your shoulders when you start and lock the arms out. Then you slightly move forward or slightly move back as you go. So again, start with trying to connect your mind to your fingers to move them to lift them and I promise after doing it a little while you will see a difference and then move into the stretches. Do that, take five minutes out of your day if you can for a week and I guarantee you're gonna feel a big difference.